Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Friday, the 11th of February. This is the Tiger Financial News Network, uh, 9 a.m. A market update, 9 a.m. because I usually do 10 to 11, but I did my show this morning at 8 to 9. I've got to be out of here, so it'll be recorded and replayed at 10 a.m. Uh, but we've got Tommy O'Brien coming up for a wonderful show. Uh, this is the kickoff market kickoff. What better could you do to start off the day? What we're looking at is the Dow had sharp move to the downside. Now it is up 38. I suspect that yesterday's second slump, it was almost like a mini waterfall cascade uh, to the lows of, of the day, uh, was an emotional response. And they should never have rallied it sharply from the opening bell yesterday. Uh, that big move down and then back almost to unchanged and then a big slide. So we're going to get back some of that. How it holds into the close today is really important. So if the, the overall, I want to see not just the Dow, but the Dow, the S&P. Let me show you the S&P right now. Let's go to the futures. The E-mini futures are up now. Oh, they're up 650. They were down very sharply earlier on at 4.5504. What you want to see, is, and the QQQ, which is the NDX 100 trading vehicle, now it's up 62 cents at 359. What you want to see is all of these indices, including the IWM, which was leading the pack yesterday, now it's up 64 cents at uh, 20408. You want to see them all after 1.30 this afternoon holding any gains that they make earlier on into the into the into the three o'clock time frame with the VIX index, the volatility index, which had a huge percentage move yesterday, pulling back. It's now 23.70, down 21 cents. You don't want to see that back in the 24-25 area. Uh, that, that's just not what you want to see by three o'clock this afternoon. You want to see this down at the 23.50s, and then Sunday night and Monday are going to be really important. Gold, gold is uh, down. Eight. The dollar is holding okay, but it had a pretty big sh move down. Now it's just consolidating. Crude oil will be watching, and my, as I was saying in my show, the TLT, the bonds, that's going to be the clue. So crude oil is up, but it's stalled at the higher level. Does it pull back next week? Does it pull back as the bonds pull back, I mean, rally, and yields start to come down? Just as all this talk is just ac accelerating, do we suddenly see a moderation in the market? There's, hey, wait a minute. Steel stocks are moving up. There are a lot of th areas that are moving up. Why would they move up if the market was so bad? I'm just saying there's a relief rally coming, and then we'll see what happens. Have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for Tommy. The great program the rest of the day. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you Monday. Basil, check out Tommy.